I got a huge headache and I don't got time for your crap. Hey guys, it's Haley and I am back again. So here I was pondering on what to make a video of. So I came up with the conclusion that I was going to make a video about things that make me mad or things that make humans mad or things that irritate me or just whatever you want to refer to this video as I guess because there are a lot of things in life that make me just really mad and I figured I would share it with the world so here I go. Let's just take a minute and wait till my mom stops using the ice maker. So first, I'm gonna talk about people and this little topic here has so many things under it so first i'm just gonna break it down for you first i'm gonna talk about people who stare okay that mm, okay this is so annoying like did you ever just like look over at school or at the store or wherever you are and there's just somebody like staring at you just like straight up staring at you and they don't even try to hide it they're just over here like I don't know if they're like purposely staring at you to freak you out or just like zoning out and they just happen to be looking in your direction. I don't know, but this just really annoys me and makes me want to like walk up to the person and punch them in the face because like, why are you staring at me, man? What? 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 The next people that make me really mad are the people who tell me that I always look angry or depressed or something that's just not good. Okay, so these this is like all the time at school. Whenever I'm just sitting there minding my own business, writing something or just doing something, not even talking to the person, they're always like, Haley, why do you look so depressed all the time? Like, can you really like look depressed? And then like, the, they're just like, are you mad? And they're like always asking me if I'm mad. Like, no, I'm not always mad. I do have some emotion here that's not always angry. Like, I could be perfectly happy and having a great day and then somebody will come up to me and be like, Haley, why are you mad, girl? And I'll be like, what? The next thing I'm gonna talk about is appointments, okay? This isn't just any kind of appointment. I'm talking about like orthodontist appointments and dentist appointments, or just orthodontists and dentists in general. Okay, first of all, I get that you have to go in my mouth and like do stuff with my braces and do stuff with my teeth, like okay, whatever, but you can be a little gentle. Like there are some people when I go to the orthodontist and have to get my braces readjusted and whatnot and they're just like, they're just like sticking all this crap in my mouth and they're just like jabbing at my gums and it's like dude, you know, I go through this like every month. You could at least be a little gentle. Like it's bad enough that when I come home I can't eat anything because my teeth are killing me but yet now my gums are bleeding and you jab my tongue and you know, I'm just squirting out blood out of my mouth everywhere so thank you for just making the rest of my day miserable I mean how would you like it if I just like grabbed a needle and just started jabbing at your gums like I'm sure that you wouldn't think that it's too nice of a feeling because I really don't but yet I gotta cut them some slack because sometimes I get lucky and get these nice ladies who are like okay Haley let's let's open your mouth and see what you got in there and like not that they're like foreign but like still like some of them are just nice and other times you get those like really angry ladies who hate life and who just want to like stab little children's gums like myself and it's just it's not a good day for me. The next thing that makes me mad is under the topic public schooling. Okay, so I myself am not a fan of public school but I don't want to go into homeschool because I feel like that's just kind of dumb because then I'll be a loner more so than I already am and I just feel like it'd be hard. So I stayed in public school and the thing is I just got a few problems with it. Okay, okay. Let's start with homework. Okay, I am just totally against the whole idea of homework. Like, it's alright sometimes, but I mean, like, when you get homework in every class, like, okay, man, I'm sitting in this classroom, in this classroom, and this classroom, in this classroom for eight hours a day, okay? And I don't want to come home. And the school that I go to, I live like an hour away from it because it's a performing arts school, so 
I have to ride a bus for like almost two hours. And so when I get home, it's almost five o'clock. Okay? Okay? So when I get home, I don't really feel like doing anything because by then I already have a headache from screaming people on my bus because my bus is really annoying. So when I come home, all I want to do is take a nap, eat some food, and chill out and watch some Drake and Josh. But can I do that? No. Because I gotta just do 20 years worth of homework and it's just really annoying. Really annoying. The next thing that I hate about public school, <sighs> okay, are the teachers. Not all of them. Some of them are very awesome, but <sighs> I can't stand the teachers that like, I don't like how they teach. Like, you know what I'm saying? I mean like those teachers that just kind of suck at teaching and suck at what they do and you know it's just kind of different for people because some people get taught more a different way and this one teacher that I have just I just can't I just can't understand and I'm like I have a C in one of my classes and it's freaking algebra and I just can't do it and it's so annoying because like the teacher I just can't deal with it and it's just she just confuses me and I don't know what to do and it's just every time I ask for help I just get more confused so you know sometimes it's just the teacher that makes the class hard and like yeah they're good people I mean I like them as a person but you know I just I can't do it and slow walking people make me angry and yeah, mm, I'm sure everybody feels this way but when you're walking and you're trying to get in a hurry this happens to me so much at school especially on the stairs because there's like three flights of stairs that I have to go up okay to get to like all my classes and there's always these people it's always happens to be like a couple and they're just like walking very slowly holding hands and making out in the hallway and it's just so annoying because like okay you know I'm trying to get to a destination it's great that you're in love but like can you just like move it a little faster and it's not always couples either sometimes it's just really slow moving annoying people who are just like talking to people or just like on their phones like texting and it's like you know what you can do that somewhere else like go in the bathroom and have a conversation with your besties okay but like don't get in my way because I'm trying to get to my class so I can learn so I can get smart so I can graduate so I never have to be here ever again and that's just my goal I don't know what your goals in life are but those are my goals so if you could just move on out of my way that would be amazing that is definitely not even close to the amount of things that make me angry I'm pretty sure I have anger issues but just Anyway, so that was my video for this weekend, and if you liked it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up because I make videos every Saturday. And be sure to subscribe because I'm really trying to get out there with my videos more. So if you could share on Tumblr or Facebook or... I don't recommend Facebook because Facebook's kind of ugly, but if you would like to, go ahead. And Twitter or Instagram or something that would make you happy. So thank you so much. Tell your friends. Tell your mom. Tell your dad, tell your grandma, tell anybody who you think would be interested in watching my videos and just share it with the world. So thank you for watching and I love you all and oh yeah, comment if you feel the way I do about any of these things and if I missed anything that makes you angry, you can tell me also. So thank you. Bye.